Hey everybody, thanks for watching True Stories with me, Sherry Weens. If you haven't yet subscribed, click that little red button below, and if you'd like to be notified of my posts first, click the bell right beside it. It'll send you a notification as soon as I post. Okay, so I wanted to sort of get into the Chris Watts interview, the mark on his neck, and I also want to follow with the interview with Nicole Atkinson, which is Shanann Watts' best friend. Now, <laughs> is it just me, or does she seem a tad insincere in her first interview? Um, almost like she's second-guessing what she's about to say, a little too in shock for some reason. I could be reading a little bit too much into this, but I want to clip this in and just ask you guys your thoughts. So check this out and let me know what you think. Now, in my opinion, the tears seem a tad forced and almost not even there. So I don't want to make it seem like, you know, she didn't care about her best friend or whatever. But I found that to be a little bit odd and I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. The other thing that I really wanted to talk about was this mark that's on Chris Watts's neck during his interview with some of the media that showed up shortly thereafter Shanann and Celeste and Bella were missing. So... Um, I'm going to clip that in and I would like to know what you guys think about that mark. Do you think it's a bite mark or do you think it's a scratch mark? Do you think it's something that he did to himself or do you think that that could be something that happened during um, a struggle perhaps with one of the children or possibly Shanann? So give me your thoughts on that too. She's actually going to a friend's house with the kids and that's the last thing I heard and that was, that was it. It was very vague and it was very... I don't have no inclination of where she is. Every friend that I've called that has has a car seat that has, I mean, that could have come in, got her. It's. And you saw her yesterday morning. Yeah, I saw her yesterday morning. She got back from the airport. The other thing that I found quite um, intriguing was the fact that um, when Chris Watts was being interviewed, the cadaver dogs were inside of his home and they were literally like a cadaver dog alerts by barking or laying down or... Um, you know, pointing their tail up. There's there's a few different ways to train a cadaver dog. Um, clearly, the ones that were inside his house were barking cadaver dogs. And with three bodies going missing inside of that home, they sound like they're just going absolutely crazy in the background while he's just trying to talk to the media. So I definitely wanted to show you guys some of that because I found that to be quite odd that nobody sort of picked up on that in that minute that they were standing there. Now, so many pieces of his interview just seem a little bit too um, stumbled, you know, some words of past tense, like um, that the kids were supposed to start school, they were going to start kindergarten and, and grade one. Like, why was it a past tense when it had only been maybe 24 hours when they had gone missing? Like, you know, it's it's pretty obvious that he knew exactly what had happened. Um, it's just odd that none of us caught that a little bit sooner or that even the media who was there questioning him didn't ask him, you know, what he sort of meant by that. And what was the past tense about and things like that. But I guess, you know, you don't always think of that thing right there in the moment, right? So I just wanted to share this little video to sort of discuss some things together, interact together, get some ideas out there. We have no concrete evidence yet, folks, so there's really no way for us to make up our mind one way or the other about Chris Watts and this whole situation. So I'm, I personally tend to stay in the middle of it. I really want to wait to see the concrete evidence before I make up a solid decision in my mind as to whether or not I feel he, he is guilty of, of all the crimes he's allegedly accused of. So, you know, definitely fill in your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video update with me, a thumbs up would be a great support. And I really appreciate your watching and I hope everybody stays safe out there. Stay tuned again for more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.